Halston has already attacked April once, causing her to get three stitches down. And ruined his relationships. So what was left of my social life just walked out the door. Yeah. Victor invites his friend Rebecca over to show Victoria what his limited social life now looks like. It's like a military operation when Rebecca and I want to hang out together. In the past, Halston has attacked Rebecca's dog, April. So in order to prevent conflict, he gates off the apartment, which is the only way Rebecca feels comfortable coming by. Hey. However, she is still the only friend willing to stop by his home. Look at your buddy. Rebecca, this is bizarre. <laughs> This is how we can hang out. <laughs> With you on one side of this barrier. Oh my hey, gosh. Hey. Halston's jealousy is immediately apparent, and she is anxious to escape the gated area to get after April. And you on the other with April. Yeah, and Rocket will trade back and forth. I have to say, I haven't seen an arrangement like that. That's obviously you know, designed to keep all the dogs safe, but Rebecca's on one side and Victor's on the other, and that's the way they spend their evenings. Do you like coming around here? Yes, we have the concern of our dogs are going to attack each other, and it's just how we do it so we can hang out. OK. When they fought, do they, they really fight? April actually had to get, I think, three or four staples before, yeah. She's got staples before yeah. from, oh, so this is, this is a real fight. Yeah. And has, has, uh, has Halston always been like that with, with April? Um, I think it started after April got surgery. All right. And then I think just the whole, hey, you're fine. You're fine. Should I bring him on this side? Do you want to switch him? Let's switch him out. Good boy. Good boy. When Halston sees another dog, she approaches the dog. She will lunge at them. When Halston sees April, she goes on attack mode with her and she has to be separated from April. Rocket is such, he's such a sweetie and such a great kid. And then he tries to be so protective of whatever girl is there. If it's either my dog, April, or Halston, he's like, okay, what do I, who do I protect? And then Halston is so over dominant that she dominates Rocket all the time, as well as she over dominates my dog, April, and now is starting to attack April. Well, what is all this about? Uh, Halston, get down. Yeah, she wants to get at her, doesn't she? In the pit breed, because man has abused them so much by making them fighting dogs and genetically breeding them so that they predispose to want to fight other dogs, you know, so so many of these beautiful dogs can be dog aggressive. I think these 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 pit bulls are probably one of the most intelligent, loving, loyal, and beautiful breeds that we have here. But there is such a massive stigma against them because of man's very, very negative manipulation. I don't think Holston and April are going to be able to hang out with each other. I mean, probably in a leash situation they might be, and if Holston's under more control. But, you know, this is real interbitch aggression, which can be some of the fiercest and the most dangerous. Rebecca decides it's time to go and bring April home before trouble flares. OK, I'll see you later. See ya. Let's go be a good girl. Wow. So what was left of my social life just walked out the door. Yeah. It's vital that for a dog like Holston that you keep this dog under control because her behavior with other dogs is not appropriate. And pit bulls get a bad rap. I mean, you know, you, you, you're you starting anyway from a point where people are gonna see, oh, he's got a pit bull. Oh no, here we go. Pit bulls are bad. I hate, as you do too, I know, I hate the, the stigma that pit bulls have on them when in fact, really, these dogs temperamentally have um, score very, very highly on the temperament list yes. of one of the, the breeds with one of the best temperaments, which a lot of people don't realize. No. It's just that they see all the bad press, all the bad media from attacks that have occurred. And mostly it's because of bad breeding and abuse. And it's such a shame though that you have to have this divider and it's such a shame that you and Rebecca can only really hang out, Rebecca being on one side of the divide and you on the other side of the divide. But I've no doubt that April would be in severe danger if Holston was let loose. Holston does not like April. No, she does not. Into bitch aggression is a major deal amongst females. So you've got a female dog coming here onto Holston's territory. Yeah. Whilst Rocket's in the room, Rocket's her male. Yep. 
and that's a threat. April's a threat, so she's gonna nail her. I don't think these dogs will ever be able to be in the same room together and you'll be able to trust them. You might be able to get it to a point, though, where it's more manageable, okay? okay? Now she wants to work with Halston to alleviate her aggression towards other dogs. Victor, yes. I brought you here to meet Tia. Tia runs the Villa Lobos Rescue Shelter, and they rescue pit bulls, and they rehabilitate and work with pit bulls primarily. Tell me your experience with pit bulls, especially as a breed. Well, as a, a breed as a whole, you know, genetically wise, they are prone to dog aggression. So we do have to take genetics into consideration that we may not be able to cure the problem, but we can curb the problem. So we have to be defensive drivers and be a step ahead of our dog if this is the dog we've chosen to be um, our, our breed of choice. Fabulous. I really like that. You've got to be a step ahead. Perfect. Now, I know that Halston is fine with some dogs, not so great with other dogs, and her behavior is getting worse. What I saw with her with April was quite concerning. She was fixated. She'd already nailed her once, and she was going to nail her again. Right. So we have to give her something else to focus on, and that is going to be you. But what I like to do is use food so that we are telling her brain you got to focus on something else other than that feeling of just wanting to nail. What I'm looking for is to see how well she can focus on me rather than the other dogs, and if she can have quiet, calm behavior around them. See, if you can bring Lefty in, Tia brought out the first dog, which was a very calm male, and I got Halston to focus on me. This is all about getting focus, okay? Closer. Good girl. Halston was pretty calm. She was interested in the other dog, but there was no lunging behavior whatsoever, so I praised her for that. Victoria then wants to gradually introduce Halston to another female pit bull. I'm gonna give this to you. First by sight. I'm just going to. Then by scent. Rub them on with pheromones collected onto separate towels. So now that's got a bit of her scent on it. I lay the blankets on the ground, and then we walk in a circle. And so this gives the dogs ability to smell each other without having to greet, so they can get great information about the emotional state of the other dog, about the sex, the health, any kind of information that the dog needs. Now, Victoria allows the dogs to get a little closer. We're just going to go for a butt sniff, that's all. I wanted Halston to have experience of greeting another dog, so I went for the least confrontational way, which is sniffing the butt. There. Butt sniff, beautiful. OK. Which she did very well. I just want her to have more and more good experiences with other dogs. I'm really excited to apply this technique to Halston when other dogs do come by and kind of feel a little bit more secure that she's not going to go after the dog. Wait. Overall, I was really pleased with the way that Halston reacted towards the other dogs. She was calm, she was interested, she had calm greetings, and all of this is setting her up for success when we do training with Rebecca and April. With Halston's success greeting new dogs, Victoria wants to see how she will fare with her old rival, April. So I wanted to bring both dogs onto neutral territory, but there was a lot of space around them where there were distractions so that Halston could focus on other things other than just April. I'm going to walk her a bit closer. Let's go, Bubba. Let's go. Good girl. Halston is excited as she gets closer to April, but she never aggresses, and Victoria is able to keep control. Here. Sit. Good girl. They associate the good feelings of being out here with being in each other's presence. Gradually, as Halston remains calm, Victoria moves closer until the dogs are only a few feet apart. When the dogs have been close to each other, they have not been calm. So I just wanted to get both dogs into a calm state around each other. All right, now you take her. She's nice, relaxed. Good. It was really great just having the dogs together in one particular area without Halston being aggressive towards her. It's been a while since we've actually seen them this way together. Let's see how Victor and the dogs have been getting on. Rebecca, okay, come on ready? Come on. Up. Today, Victor has brought Halston to the park to meet up with up. Rebecca girl. and April. Good girl. Because Victor is remaining calm and distracting her when necessary, Halston is becoming more and more comfortable with April's presence. It's really good. Do you want to try it closer? All right. Halston, sit. Halston, sit. 
Okay. Hey, bro. Sit. Good Sit down, girl. baby. Oh my goodness, look how close you guys are. She's doing really good. She's not fixated on her. It doesn't seem like she's even paid any attention at all since she's gotten here. Victor is able to walk her side by side with April without incident. It's a huge improvement. Good girl. Good girl, April. Hey, good girl. This is going really well. Holston is really starting to behave differently towards April. Victoria wants to ramp up the training with Halston and April. Since Halston and April have been getting along quite well in the park, it's time to include Rocket. Rocket was excluded in the first place because when Rocket's around, Halston does become protective of him. There's more competition between the two females when the male's around. Your job is to try keep the focus when Halston sees Rocket greeting April. That's when she gets a little jealous and a little protective. Good girl, Halston. Come say hi. Halston, sit. Halston, <laughs> sit. Good. When I took Rocket to greet oh. April, for Halston. a moment, Holston looked a little bit irritated. And she was looking at April as if to say, that's my man. But then very quickly, okay. Victor got Holston's okay. focus. And after that, no problem. Rocket's now with April. This could be very frustrating for Holston. Keeping her focus, though, onto you, which is great. I'm really, really impressed with just how Holston is behaving around April. Ideally, the next step will be to find a neutral room somewhere. And then when that's going well, to introduce them back into the apartment. Everything's going great. I've got my dogs under control. It's like I've got my social life back. It's, it's all I could ask for.